Well, my wife and I just got back from two weeks on the road here in Utah. We went to some places that we'd never been before, but we'd heard about, and we revisited some places that are truly favorite bars here in Utah. We took over 3,000 pictures and videos on this trip, and I'm gonna be editing those videos in the next few weeks. We went to some beautiful, beautiful places that were just absolutely amazing, with no crowd, remote, easy to get to for the most part. So let me give you a preview of what's upcoming in the next few weeks. I'll be posting every week some of the most amazing places in Utah. Now we started out just southeast of Bryce Canyon National Park on Cottonwood Canyon Road. It begins out of Cannonville, Utah. We stopped at the Utah Department of Natural Resources Visitor Center to pick up a permit so that we could camp in this area. While it's recommended to have a permit, it is not necessary because for one thing, the visitor center is only open certain days and on certain hours. But we were able to get one, and we also wanted to find out about road conditions as this is a dirt road. They told us that you couldn't get all the way through to Highway 89 that runs east out of Kanab because of recent rains. So we thought, fine, if we can't get through, we can just come back the same way we came. That was okay with us because we thought this area would be worth spending more time in to explore. And we would just check it out for ourselves. What we found was truly amazing. The unique landscape, slot canyons, plus the bonus of very few people really made this worthwhile. There wasn't a tremendous amount of places to boondock, but we did find a great place that was private and secluded where our dog could run around off leash and be safe. There were a couple slot canyons in here that we hiked, and we also did a hike that was cross country. While it was a dirt road, it was in excellent condition. There were no muddy parts to worry about because it had dried out from the recent rain. From there, we continued south and hooked up to Highway 89 that runs east out of Kanab. We had gone into Kanab for gas and then came back out about eight miles to Johnson Canyon Road and followed that paved road to a road that was called Trump. This road is also known as BLM 500. We drove for about 12 miles or so, most of it being on a private ranch, but on a county road. As we exited the eastern boundary of the ranch, we came across Lick Wash Trailhead, an incredible slot canyon. There was great parking in the trailhead, and we camped there for two nights and rarely saw anyone. The slot canyon itself has easy access. If you didn't know there was a slot canyon there, you would never have recognized it. Looking at it from the trailhead, the beginning wasn't visible, but we loaded up our backpacks with water and snacks and our camera gear and headed out. This is an amazing slot canyon that is rarely visited, including huge ponderosa pines that grow along the canyon wall and in the floor of the canyon itself. It was absolutely stunning. One thing about slot canyon is they don't stay the same. They keep changing and changing as you go deeper and deeper into them. After spending two days at this beautiful location, we took this road and came to Willis Creek Slot Canyon Trailhead. Now there's plenty of parking there as this particular slot canyon is more popular given its proximity to Cannonville and Bryce Canyon National Park. It's a very easy hike. We started early in the morning around 9 a.m. and there was hardly anybody in the slot canyon. There were more people coming in and there were also some outfitters bringing people through on horseback. There were at least four or five groups of horseback riders with the total amount of riders between somewhere around 40 to 50 and it certainly didn't take away from the experience. It added to it because here you were in a slot canyon with all these horses and mules going by and it was totally safe. The outfitters were very good at communicating and there were plenty of places to just tuck into as the horses and mules went by. Like I said it really added to the experience. Well, I hope that piqued your interest to see the upcoming videos that we'll be putting up in the next few weeks that's detailing more of the places that we went to. As I said, we've got over 3,000 pictures and videos to put together, and we're going to be making specific videos for each location we were in. Probably on some locations, it'll take two videos to get all that footage in so that you can enjoy where we've been and what we've been experiencing. And perhaps that might even trigger you to put this on your bucket list and come visit some of these incredible places in Utah. Thanks for being here. If you like what we're doing on this channel again always if you would hit the like button hit the notification bell when you hit the subscribe button so you'll always be notified when we put up a new video and until the next video take care see you on the next one bye for now